All right, we got an 08 Ram 2500. It's got the 5.9 Cummins turbo diesel. And uh, this is so look, one of the earlier 5.9s, uh, the coveted motor. And a uh, customer had it towed in on the hook uh, because the, uh, the, there, was no, there was no juice. Had us dead short. Uh, to the alternator uh, and upon uh, restoring some of the connections there were some melted positive wires and whatnot uh, became obvious that the intake air heater was stuck on so you may experience uh, <clears throat> no charging system voltage dead battery no start issue or uh, maybe smoke coming from your upper intake area that's a sign you're intake air heater is not functioning properly. So there's a few things that can go wrong here. Uh, the PCM does control it, but also there is a uh, solenoid mounted just down here. Gotta get some light on this bad boy. In this case, a solenoid mounted here below the battery uh, on the battery tray. Uh, that solenoid receives positive from the right side positive battery terminal. Uh, it does have a fuse link connecting to it and then uh, the solenoid is energized like I said by the PCM and then it's fed off the solenoid. When this vehicle came in it was a state of stuck on solenoid always getting continuity across the solenoid wiring. And the positive battery cable on the right side was pretty smoked. So this can actually cause the issue when you don't have proper connection. Also, this is the positive wire to the alternator, uh, which connects at this uh, battery cable in the positive end on the uh, passenger side and uh, it was melted also rubbed through I, I honestly think in this case that was the original problem that led to the failure there's your intake air heater um, this intake air heater may have been savable I just took caution and replaced it um, since everything else, the alternator was completely smoked. Uh, this is the feed wire, uh, the other positive wire that feeds this solenoid, like so. So then when these receive a poor connection, it can start the whole process in motion. And then, you know, through higher resistance, current draw, smokes across that solenoid. It actually fried the batteries as well. I don't know exactly what happened before it ended up here, but uh, I think we drove it a little bit far and then it finally just gave up the ghost. Uh, I did put a traditional 60 amp fuse link to the alternator. I had to make this wire, it's discontinued. Um, I think it's gonna work fine. I was able to get the positive battery lead, which comes with this fuse link that powers that solenoid. Uh, my grounds look good. I'm having to order the battery trays. Both of them are busted out and uh, do not secure the batteries. Then they rattle around and initially this is where this fuse link passed through and got pounded on by a loose battery. And I believe it shorted against some ground there. And uh, I think that's how it started, but uh, word has it, the PCM could be at fault. Uh, the more common issue is uh, this wire or the battery terminal end becomes uh, broken or corroded enough to where, or loose, you lose 
connection there, your resistance builds, it gets hot because this does draw quite a bit of amperage uh, even when it's functioning normally. The newer uh, model engine has a different heater uh, that's a little more complicated and it's prone to falling apart and dropping uh, parts down inside a cylinder of the engine. I'm not actually a, a super big diesel tech guy. Just happens to be a customer of mine that I'm trying to take care of. So uh, we ended up here and this one's a successful repair at this point. I'm waiting for the Dorman battery trays which are uh, no longer available through the dealer discontinued, but you can get the Dorman trays. I actually think you can get the right side battery tray from the dealership, uh, but the Dorman was a little bit cheaper. The left side discontinued. So we're gonna get the battery secured and button this one up, but thought I'd share the information with you. If you run across an issue, problem. Uh, you can also generate a code related to the intake air heater on these when they begin to malfunction. Those are some of the things to look for. Hope this video has been helpful. Appreciate you watching. Yeah, have a good one.